Hey Taurus, happy birthday. This is Star, we're gonna do a quick read for you. But I just wanna say happy birthday to all, all the May babies. I already had my birthday, it was in April. I'm an April Taurus, but have fun you guys. But this month is gonna be a little bit rough, I think, <laughs> for Taurus um, in particular, but for all of us because we do have the retrograde, we have the eclipse happening. Yeah, all right, so Taurus, what are you working with here? What energy is around you at the moment, Taurus? The reading that I do after this one is gonna be your whole story reading, so be on the lookout for those. Okay, we have two cards wanting to come out. We have truth and patience. So maybe you're having to be patient for the truth to come out or for the truth to be revealed to you specifically. Let's put these here. All right, Taurus. You've been through a storm, I feel, so something a bit unpleasant, I think, you have been through, but I feel like this is past. For most of you, some of you, maybe it's just now happening. Let me just look, make sure you can see the cards. Yes. Two of Wands, Queen of Swords. No. Ooh. All right. Prince of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Swords. So there seems to be a lot of thinking and planning going on. I feel like you did find out a truth about someone. It could have been a, a romantic situation, but it doesn't have to be. But I'm getting here uh, disappointment in, in someone. There, You see how this woman um there's that couple behind her back so i'm kind of getting that vibe with the prince of cups in reverse here so it could have been somebody who was emotionally manipulative or was lying to you maybe they had somebody on the side but there's a lot of planning here let me see this these cards are interesting Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the vibe I'm getting here, because usually um, traditionally in the Eight of Swords, like uh, Rider Waite deck, it's, it's one woman trapped, so to speak, um, you know, behind all the swords, which, you know, nobody would be trapped behind swords. You could just, you know, step out of there. Um, usually that woman is blindfolded here. Uh, there's two people. There's a man and a woman, and it doesn't look like either one of them is blindfolded, yet they're both stuck in a situation here. So you may have been in a relationship that you knew was toxic or you knew it was time to move on, but for some reason neither person was doing anything about it, or this could be happening um, in the near future. Oh, all right, let's take them. Hmm, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups here. I feel like some of you are getting, um, you're getting love offers, but it's like too much too soon. And I feel like you're being very, uh, cold in some cases cold in other cases it's, it's just very blunt you're just telling people how it is you're not interested or you're not interested right now or it's i don't know whatever it is i like you, i'm getting some of you have a lot on your mind maybe you just need more time but i'm seeing you like kind of um cutting people off maybe like not responding to to messages Three of Wands. Prince of 
Prince of Swords. There may be some news, or you maybe you're waiting for news. There's some news that's coming toward you. Wow, okay. I like this. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Seven of Cups in reverse. So, mm -hmm. someone, someone is... I feel like um, hmm. six of cups. Okay, so there may be somebody from your past. I feel as though this person is going to shed light on on a confusing situation from the past, and I'm getting the sense of like somebody just going for it. You know, the, like maybe there was hesitation because I do see hesitation with the Eight of Swords. Honestly, I feel like somebody has feelings for you, Taurus, but they were they were unexpressed or. Okay, this could be a situation, yeah, actually, so this may not be for all of you, but for some of you, I do feel that you were involved in the past with somebody who just was not ready to commit yet, um, for whatever reason, you know, maybe they just were commitment phobes, or they could have even been involved with other people, not just one, but other people. <laughs> So they just weren't, they weren't in that space, that headspace to open themselves up to be exclusive with anyone, or maybe they already were, and they just, you know, it couldn't happen. But I'm getting here, you know, with the fool in the chariot, this is energy of, of just do it. You know, there, there's a sense here of somebody's just doing something, could be a cancer. So whatever resistance was there in the past I feel like that is coming down this this wall this guardedness this resistance look at this we have emperor and empress but the emperor is in reverse hmm. all right let's clarify It's almost like um, I'm getting for some of you like the, the the more standoffish you are, the colder you are, I feel like it makes this person want to try harder. So they kind of see you as a challenge perhaps. Let's see, two of wands. <laughs> it's the two of wands but in reverse. Nine of Pentacles. Let me do another one. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. I feel like there was uh, something unexpected that happened, either having to do with money, but I feel so this is more like um, family-related issues, but there, there was something that was unforeseen, and you're now having to plan for something or plot for something, you know? Just thinking about the future, but the Queen of Swords makes you know, difficult decisions because she has the, the, the strength to do that. You know, she doesn't let her emotions take over. Six of cups in reverse. So yeah, these people that you were emotionally tied to, maybe they pulled your heartstrings in the past. I, I see you being very cold now, very calculated. the hermit you're cutting somebody off so whatever love um, somebody got from you in the past this love that they became accustomed to it's no longer there 
it's gone <laughs> the sun something is being illuminated something from your past from people uh, of your past your your it's like information is coming out and I kind of do see that, you know, three of wands is some something, whatever's coming toward you and what's coming toward you is the Prince of Swords. So news, information, truth. Well, that came out. Okay, look who it is. The Knight of Cups again is the same as the Prince of Cups. Okay. Um, hmm. I feel like something happened between you and another person in the past. This person wants to come back. I think they want to apologize, but something is just not allowing them to, to move forward. They keep overthinking this issue, but they want to. So they may get over it because we do have this Knight of Swords again, which is the Prince of Swords. Let's see the Eight of Wands in reverse. I feel like right now there is no communication. There's no action being taken. Things are kind of at a standstill the sun this wants to come out let's see the lovers yes okay let me see six of pentacles hmm. so this might happen um around leo season july august time frame so around the summertime it may not happen right away but i do get the sense that somebody wants to um, apologize and have harmony they want happiness again they want to be able to pick up the phone and speak to you page of Pentacles there's an offer here let's see what this ten of Pentacles is whoa okay we have the king of wands and we have the world so the, we have a ten which um, represents endings and the world is also a completion so you may have had a completion with a King of Rods, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, let's see here. Oh, look at that. Queen of Rods. So there is a couple here. I feel like this person is married. Let me do one more. Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, so yeah, this is somebody that you could have been married to or this is someone in your family. Um, but I feel like the cycle is definitely over. We now have two tens and the world card. Uh, it's, this is... Uh, something is coming to a completion. The reason I'm, I'm stopping here is because the way this King of Wands is looking at the Ten of Pentacles, like there's something, it's, maybe it's just triggering me. <laughs> um, but I feel as though this person is looking at your pentacles. So I feel the need to warn you about that. Okay. We have the Three of Wands. The seven of cups in reverse yeah so there's definitely some kind of truth or information that's going to clarify a situation for you where in which you didn't have all the answers you didn't know the entire truth this is what's coming toward you look at that justice truth yes you will have justice taurus um, you're going to find out some kind of truth that's going to help you move on and close this out because it it seems like something was not closed out yet completely so again, we go back to being patient because the truth is going to come out. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be, um, if it's not Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this could be, again, uh, uh, feelings, thoughts, more so feelings, not, not so much thoughts, but like feelings, emotions um, that you didn't know before. Or this could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio communicating something with you. Yeah, look at that. It's like truth is everywhere here. You cannot hide. No one can hide from it. There's a truth coming out. I feel like you're super happy about this. It could be somebody revealing feelings. It could be you finding out, um, I don't know, 
It could be so many things, but let me see. We're going to clarify more. Ooh, the five of rods. I'll do another one. Judgment. Mm-hmm. Truth again. You're finding out who your enemies are. <laughs> You're finding out the people who were jealous of you, the people who um, were against you, maybe even plotting against you. Because I am kind of getting that, to be honest with you. Look, this, ten, this is tied to this because we have the Ten of Pentacles there twice. Remember I got this bad vibe from this King of Wands? Be, uh, yeah, King of Wands, King of Rods, same thing. Because of the way he's looking at these pentacles. Okay. Looking at this here, again, I do feel like somebody was planning and plotting uh, with something having to do with money, family money, property, um, any any kind of like material thing that has to do with money. So this could be like somebody wanting to steal an inheritance, somebody wanting to um, do some kind of dirty transaction uh, with you or, you know, pull you into something that uh, they would be able to take money from you. But you're seeing this very clearly now. You're very, very disappointed in, in these people, this person. Because of the fact, you know, Leo had like a similar uh, reading to you. I just did Leo. Um, you had a very close tie. This is family. Somebody, family, you were married or, you know, it's just like family members. Very close to these people. And I feel like the love is what held you back before. You knew that there was something in you that kept telling you, kept like uh, poking at you. You know, something's not right. Something's not right. And it was just this, the love that you had for them that was keeping you back, holding you back from moving on. But with the Eight of Wands in reverse being there, I do feel like there was there was separation here. So you took time away from people. And I feel like that really did you good because with the Page, uh, I'm sorry, the Prince of Cups there being in reverse, again, I feel like there was some sort of uh, emotional manipulation. So getting away from that, I think really helped you to... Um, embody this queen of swords energy and just kind of detach yourself from your emotions from your emotional state and make more logical and clear decisions because this is all about gaining clarity on what's fair and what's not and you kind of uh, ending situations where you know that either you were giving more than you were getting or simply people were just around to see what could be taken or pilfered, I should say. But I see you again, I feel like you're getting justice, like you're having new beginnings, there's there's like blessings coming to you. The truth, it, there is no hiding from it, so whoever, whoever was plotting against you, um, it will be revealed, okay? Let's see, two of wands. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is something that was planned for some time and it wasn't one person. This could have been a group, okay? A group of people who were planning and plotting. Um, I feel like it's the doctor card, but it, it could be a lawyer. You know, it's like somebody that you go to for advice, for counsel. There was some someone being counseled in these plans we have sorrow yeah you see with the queen of swords so six of cups reverse tells me that there was some bad memories um, from the past like something happened between you and a person or other people that you were very close to but it was negative it's not something that you want to remember there was sorrow involved there was heartbreak and that is what made you turn you know ice cold like an ice queen or king you know because it's not gender based but it, it made you kind of cut these people off or just uh, detach from the love that you used to have for them well oh, 
so many. Foe. Mm. This is a known person frenemy competition. Yeah. This is either being revealed to you or it already has been revealed to you. If it hasn't been revealed to you, definitely like do an inventory of the people around you and be honest with yourself. Because there's somebody out there who's pretending to be something that they're not and they've been plotting against you for some time. This is an enemy. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, we have an Eight of Swords with the Knight of Cups. So this is, uh, you know, that Knight of Cups is that person. Sweetheart, yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, again, what, what has been holding you back is the love that you had for this person. And what has been holding this person back is the love that you have for them. <laughs> Don't get that twisted. It's not the other way around. It, it, what was holding them back from exiting this situation, this relationship with you, in whatever capacity it may be, romantic, platonic, whatever it is, could be a friend, um, but it wasn't what they were feeling for you that made them want to stay in the relationship. It was what you were doing for them that was hard to let go of. Eight of Wands in reverse. We have hope. Mm -hmm. So interesting, this card is about having faith uh, waiting, which, uh, you know, is bringing me back to that original card of patience. So with the eight of wands in reverse, uh, you may have cut communication, not just with them, with these people, this person, but just in general, maybe you just needed some isolation to get yourself balanced again, to get yourself to a brighter place, just on your own, not, uh, you know, depending on anybody else to get you to that. Uh, mental space yeah mm -hmm. this is about money so this person this king of wands doesn't have to be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this could just be somebody who's very uh, driven okay so like once they set their eyes on something they they don't stop they're kind of relentless and uh, what are they looking at here they're looking at the ten of Pentacles and we have the merchant, which again has to do with transactions, with money, with, you know, things like that. So that is their motivation. Their motivation is what they can get out of this situation. What they can kind of squeeze out of you. Three of Wands. Messenger, yeah. Somebody's going to tell you some truth. There's going to be some news coming in. It could be from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. This could be somebody that you care about, a father, father figure, or more importantly, somebody who cares about you, cares enough to let you know what's going on here. Child, new start. For some of you, you're getting news that somebody's going to be a father or is a father. There may be a child involved that you didn't know about. I feel like this is somebody older is telling you this or, um, or somebody could be telling you this thinking that if they just come clean, they'll, you'll forgive them or something. Hmm. Ten of Cups. enemy that's interesting enemy clarifying the ten of cups so again I'm getting the sense of somebody very close to you is not that close to you not as close as you thought that they were they are very much very much against you this person who was within your ten of cups situation was very much against you Taurus and you're finding this out there's no hiding from this anymore mm. yeah well, that's your reading, Taurus. I, I wish it was better, but I mean, in a way, I do think it's good because me being a Taurus, I, I would want to know. Honestly, this does resonate for me. <laughs> 
um, but this is something that's already happened. So if this is happening to you in the near future, I, I suggest you be, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, check your accounts, just dot all your I's and cross all your T's because this, this person, I mean, whether you do or not, whether you do what I just said or not, the truth is coming out. Maybe you've waited for a while, maybe it's taken a while, whatever the case may be, but what is for sure is that it's coming out. All right, Taurus, I'll see you soon. Remember, the whole story readings are coming up next. Bye, guys.